welcome to rk tutorials solutions to engineering mechanics 5th edition by s timoshenko dhn jv rao and sukumar pati in this video we will solve problem set 2.1 problem number 2.15 resolve the force p that is 3.25 newtons in figure into two rectangular components pr comma pt acting along the radius ao and perpendicular thereto respectively the formula or concept that is required to solve the problem is rectangular components any force f can be resolved into two different forces if the angle between those two forces is 90 degrees then it is called rectangular components of forces if the angle between those two forces is not 90 degrees then it is called general components of forces first consider this force let this force f makes an angle theta with the horizontal you can resolve this force into two components one force is along x axis another force is along y axis the angle between this x and y axis is 90 degrees hence i can say it is rectangular components what is the component of the force along x axis remember here the force f makes an angle theta with the x axis hence the x component is cos component and that magnitude is f cos theta f and similarly the component of the force along y axis is f y is equal to f sin theta and what about the directions a thumb rule i am saying for directions if force is divergent these two forces are also divergent if this force is convergent these two forces are also convergent what do you mean by that for example if the same force i want to resolve here this is my x axis and this is my y axis and this makes an angle theta with the horizontal clearly you can see as far as this point is concerned this force is convergent hence the two forces one force act along x axis this is fx direction is this one f y direction is this one all three forces must be convergent but here all three forces must be divergent that is the thumb rule you can remember let us consider this second one the same force f makes an angle theta with the y axis we would like to resolve this force along y axis and x axis since angle between x and y axis is 90 degrees we can consider these are the rectangular components what is the directions of this force fx this is divergent and fy this is also divergent all three are divergent and what is the magnitude of the forces fy since this f makes an angle theta with the y axis y component becomes cos because it is at the center and the other component becomes sin this is a thumb rule you can find the first thumb rule all forces must be either convergent or divergent the second thumb rule is the adjacent side component becomes cos since this force makes theta with the y axis so y component becomes f cos theta 
Similarly, let us consider this, this force, F. This makes an angle theta with the y-axis. I would like to resolve this force into along x and y-axis. Angle between those two is 90 degrees. Since here also F is divergent, those two forces components must also be divergent, Fx and F. Now here, this force makes an angle theta with the y-axis, hence the y component becomes cos theta, horizontal component becomes sin theta. Same force, for example, I want to resolve here. Can you understand now? The same force I want to resolve here. As far as this point is concerned, this force is convergent and this makes an angle theta with the vertical. So the two components of the forces, one force is acting like this, another force will act like this. And this is, of course, Fx is equal to F sin theta and this is Fy is equal to F cos theta. Okay. Now let us take the launched case. There is a force F which makes an angle theta with the x-axis. I want to resolve this force F. So as far as this point is concerned, this is divergent. So my force components are also divergent and this also makes an angle theta with the x-axis. Hence, x component becomes cos and y component becomes sine. So Fy becomes F sine theta and Fx is equal to F cos theta. So these are the rectangular components. So in this problem, a force P, there is force P, this is the force P. A big force I am drawing here, this is the force P. This is force P is acting at point A. Now our aim is to resolve this force into two components. And those two components are like this. One is along AO and another one is perpendicular to AO. Let us consider, assume that this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis. We need to resolve this force P along this x-axis and y-axis. For that, I should know the angle made by this force P with either x-axis or y-axis. To know that, let this angle is alpha, let this uh, angle made by the force P with the horizontal is alpha. Given that the angle made by this AO with the horizontal is 45 degrees. Now, let us construct, let us draw a, a, a vertical line passing through A and I will put a name here, C. Consider the right angle triangle OAC. Then sine 45 is equal to opposite side AC by this OA that is 254 mm that value is given. Upon simplification, I will get AC value is 179.6 mm. I know this length AC is equal to 179.6 mm. Now I will consider the right angle triangle ABC. Sin alpha is equal to AC divided by AB. AB value is given as 508. Sin alpha is equal to 179.6 divided by 508, which gives the value of alpha is 20.7 degrees. So alpha value is known, that is 20.7 degrees. Now let us go to our problem. Let us transfer the x and y axis onto a separate place so that I can easily analyze this problem. So this is my x axis and this is my y axis. Now where is force P? This force P also I am transferring onto this. 
Now, in order to find the component of this force along x and y axis, I must know the angle made by this force P either with x axis or y axis. For that, we just construct a horizontal line here at A. Since you know that the angle made by the force P with the horizontal BC is alpha, hence this, al this angle will also be equal to alpha because opposite sides are same. Similarly, the angle made by AO with the horizontal is given as 45, hence the angle made by this line, this line that is x axis with this horizontal will also be equal to 45 because opposite sides are in equal. Hence, what is the total angle made by the force P with our x axis alpha plus 45? That is 65.7 degrees. Once you know that, the force P makes an angle 65.7 degrees with the x-axis. So, you can resolve this force along x and y-axis. And remember, this is a convergent force. So, the component of the force must also be convergent. The force along the component of the force along y-axis is like this towards downwards, towards this point. And the, so this value is Pt given that this is Pt. Next component of the force P along x axis and it should be convergent, it is like this and this value is Pr. Now what about the magnitude? From this diagram, the P force makes an angle 65.7 degrees with Pr. Hence, Pr component becomes cos component and the PT component becomes sine component. Hence, PR is equal to P into cos 65.7 and P value is given as 3 to 5 into cos 65.7 which gives 915.6 newtons. Similarly, PT is equal to is the sine component which is P into sine 65.7 that is 3 to 2.5 into sine 65.7, which is 2027.9 newtons. Now, let us transfer these forces onto original diagram. To transfer that, now this is the value of this is the actual force P. Now, PR and PT will act like this. So, this is the PT and this is P R and the values are here. My dear friends and students, if you want the solution for any of the subject in the field of machine design, namely strength of materials, theory of machines, machine design, engineering mechanics, finite element method, mechanical vibrations, please give the reference in the comment section so that I will solve the problem, prepare a video and upload in my channel. Please subscribe and share my video.